Epstein says that he will reimburse taxpayers for a court settlement that he reached with a former U.S. Senate staffer. And that surprising reaction came after a Republican press conference raising questions about the case. Pat Kessler standing by here now with more. And, I mean, the, the case itself isn't new. Yeah, no, we, we've heard the case before, but we knew about that, but not about the confidential nature of this court settlement. A staffer sued Dayton, claiming he was fired after telling the senator he had serious heart problems. Republicans are raising questions about the nature of this settlement, including why it was reached just after Dayton declared his candidacy for governor. They also want to know who got paid, how much, and whether taxpayer funds were used. Well, there's an election in three weeks. This settlement was not reported by the media. And so we'd like to him to before before the election to let the people of the state know what this is about. You're absolutely right. It's political. He's running for governor of the state. It's a pretty big job. We think he should come clean with the citizens of the state. Yeah, surprising response after Republicans held their press conference. Dayton said first in a written statement he will reimburse taxpayers for this settlement, calling the Republican charges, though, an act of desperation. But he refused to answer any reporter's questions about it after a governor's debate today. So there are still some questions that people have that have not been answered. Like, was the money paid? How much? Why did he get yeah, it? We, and we don't know any of that, any of that yet. It's a confidential settlement. They say that it's very confidential. Even the documents have been destroyed, so we don't know those answers. Republicans keep asking them. It's interesting. Yeah, I know. All right. Thanks, Thanks Pat. Pat.